baby! Give it up, baby! Nostalgia was in the air at Aloha Stadium as the 1992 Holiday Bowl champion Hawaii team was honored on homecoming. But memories of victorious times seemed to be just that, as Hawaii got down early to the Spartans when freshman quarterback Montel Aaron hit Rashid Johnson for the 15-yard score, made it 10-0 San Jose State in the first quarter. For some reason, we started slow, and we're going to try to change that. But uh, as soon as we got one spark from the offense, we just kept feeding off those sparks, and it was a domino effect. We just kept going. Adding injury to insult, Hawaii's top playmaker in the passing game, John Ursua, the nation's leader in receiving yards average, went down with a knee injury. With things teetering on disaster, Hawaii somehow held it together. Diosmi St. Just rammed in a one-yard touchdown to cap a 14-play, six-and-a-half-minute drive that covered 75 yards in the second quarter, putting UH on the board. <laughs> From there, the Rainbow Warriors continued to up the dosage on DSJ, running the ball nine out of 10 plays on another second quarter scoring drive, culminating in a four yard jump ball TD pass from backup QB Cole McDonald to Dakota Torres. Hawaii led 14-13 at halftime. With Ursua out, other receivers had to fill the void. Dylan Colley toe tapped a spectacular 22 yard grab from Drew Brown early in the third to make it 21-13 UH. I've never had a grab that close, man. <laughs> Never in my life, and so as soon as I looked up on the board and saw that I got a toe in, I, I was, uh, I was pretty ecstatic. It was something I needed for my confidence, and and I knew that would get the uh, get the ball rolling. Brown was 12 for 23 for 173 yards, and that score on a night that was all about the ground and pound for Hawaii. A school record 39 carries for St. Just resulted in 202 yards and two trips to the end zone. DSJ's fourth career 200-yard performance, placing him second on the all-time UH rushing yards list. I didn't even feel like I had to get nine carries. I'm just happy that we got a win. And if that's what needs to happen for us to get a win, then I'm more than happy to do it. He didn't even seem like he was tired out there, if I'm being completely honest. He, he just, he'll be the first to tell you that the O-line did a great job for him. But at the end of the day, when the awesome is in space, you know, he, I'll take him over anyone in the country. Hawaii's defense was again victimized to the tune of 504 total yards for the Spartans, but a Jelani Tavai pick in the red zone was one of several timely Warrior stops. Then in the fourth, with the Bows up 28-20, Johnson went 96 yards on a kick return to the house. However, some choreographed shenanigans at the end of the play earned an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, moving San Jose State out of two-point conversion range. It was the second such penalty for the Spartans in the second half. It's way too many penalties, um, all kinds of crazy, ridiculous, absurd penalties that I'm honestly totally embarrassed about. Um, and, and penalties that cost us an opportunity to be in the game when it mattered the most. And this one would be a game changer as Vianney Mawala spanked away the lengthened PAT try and Ro Ferris would scoop it and race it the other way for two UH points. The Green Giant, that's Vianney. Um, I don't know how he could, I don't know how he does it, but that dude's a beast at, at blocking field goals. Ryan Tuiasoa's short yardage TD plunge with six minutes to go served as the proverbial nail, and Hawaii would win it 37 26.